we're thinking of burning our timbers. We've heard at field days and online that, that people are starting to burn for oak regeneration and to control invasives. Before you ever go out with your match into the timber, you need to step back, take a minute, and think about a burn plan. It is critical in today's environment that you think about filling out and writing down a burn plan. Then it's critical that you follow what you put down on paper. You need to think of several different aspects throughout that entire burn, and that's what a burn plan is going to do. It's going to help you focus on your goals and your objectives. Why are you burning? What weather conditions do you need to have a successful burn to meet your goals and objectives? What safety aspects of that burn do you really need all of the personnel to know about? Do you have a map of the site? What is the terrain like that the people are going to be working in? How do you plan to communicate with all of the personnel on the site? Down to how many personnel do you really need to pull off a prescribed burn? That's what a burn plan is going to give you. It's going to give you a, a written document that everyone can follow. It's going to tell you who to contact, your neighbors that might be downwind, dealing with smoke management. It's going to allow you to map out the farms and the livestock facilities and the homes that are downwind of where you're going to be burning because you don't want to put smoke on them. Iowa State University Extension and Outreach has made available a free downloadable burn plan that you can print off, fill out, and use to conduct your own prescribed burns. It's going to allow you to know who your EMS is, who you need to contact to let them know you're burning. It's going to direct you to the online and the TV and the radio weather stations that will help you determine when it's safe and when it's unsafe to burn. And there are laws that you must follow in certain communities. So check with your, your local sheriff's department, your local EMS coordinator. They will help you through this process. It's important when we think of a burn plan that you have in place a written contingency plan if something goes wrong. The, the crew leader that's going to be conducting that burn, that's going to be your leader, will have the emergency numbers, will call all personnel and get them out of there. That's why it's important to have a map with defined regions and a rally point that everyone can meet at so that everyone is safe and you can plan your attack to put the fire out so that you have a safe and productive prescribed fire. going to want to write down your neighbor's contact information and you're going to want to write down your local sheriff and EMS coordinators contact information. You also need to make sure every member of your burn plan crew have their information, their name, their number written down. They need a copy of that burn plan. 